Yes, 153 at this time. Copy. Deactivation. G4 is the next command being issued. Alec, you can uh, use the push to talk button at this time. SRP and ODR will be issued by the ground, right? It's already issued. At three. A uh, very striking view there of the Soyuz TMA-17 and the moon and the upper, upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere as uh, the Soyuz and the station travel 217 miles just to the northeast of Japan, about to head out over the Pacific Ocean. In a little more than two hours and 20 minutes, uh, Soyuz will complete its deorbit burn that will slow the speed of that spacecraft by 258 miles per hour. That will be enough to drop it out of orbit to uh, bring it back home. Uh, I'm writing everything down. 428. 5.92 uh, is propellant at this time. Copy that. Deactivated, inaudible. Uh, for be ready for descent by the next compass. Perform all preparation. Uh, clear uh, page ninety at three twenty-five. Uh, Zero, zero, do not forget about the accelerometer. Are you leaving us? <laughs> There's nowhere for us to go. <laughs> we'll be sitting here, all alert. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Then you will remember about the accelerometer yourself, right? We'll do our best. All right, do we need it? Sasha, um, you do not have uh, pressure at the landing spot yet. No, as soon as we have the information, we'll give it to you. Uh, and we have the data already now. The atmospheric pressure in the landing spot is 734. All right, thank you. The Soyuz TMA-17 continuing to pass down below uh, the International Space Station. It is steadily moving more directly below the station itself. Right now it's down uh, off the back end of the station, the Russian segment. In about eight minutes it will be directly down below uh, the centermost, centermost portion of the International Space Station. The crew members on board uh, getting a good view of their former colleagues as they begin the journey back home.
as the Soyuz TMA-17 continues to pass underneath the International Space Station, you're getting a pretty good view of the three different modules of this entire spacecraft. The white part at the bottom, that is the propulsion module that has all the avionics and uh, part of the fuel of the Soyuz. At the very top is the orbital module. Uh, that is used uh, right after liftoff and in the two days it takes the Soyuz to get to the station. It gives the three crew members uh, a bit more room to uh, move about. It also is a pretty good area for some cargo that they can pack away inside there. And that also has the hatch uh, that is used to connect the Soyuz to the International Space Station itself. As we mentioned, the deorbit burn will be conducted at 9.34 p.m. Central Time, two hours and 17 minutes from now. About 20 minutes after that takes place, that is when those three modules will separate from one another. That is done by firing some pyrotechnic uh, bolts. They come off at the same time while the Soyuz is about 87 miles above the ground. It only takes a few seconds for those modules to uh, be separated. That top orbital module as well as the bottom propulsion module will, will uh, burn up in the Earth's atmosphere as they come back in. That uh, middle module, which you see there, is the descent module. That is the only piece uh, that comes back and lands under parachutes there in Kazakhstan. I forgot something. Can we go back? Uh, next orbit. Okay. <laughs> next orbit. I think the station power has come down. Exactly. <laughs>